All right, so this is gonna be a video unlike any other video on this channel to this date, and that's because I'm not the one that's editing this video. Which is kind of scary because I'm not the one who's controlling what happens to this footage. 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 So why don't I introduce you guys to who is editing this? Hey, what's up guys? My name is John Burton. I'm an editor and DP here in Oklahoma City. Here is a super quick clip from my submission to Maddie. All right, so now you know who's editing this and they're gonna do a really good job. They will do it. I hope they do. You're gonna do a good job, right? What? I was just, I was getting coffee. But I'm gonna try to film this like I normally would so it's as real world as possible. Uh, what do I, what? do I normally do in my videos? Mm. Oh, I know. So I thought in this video we would talk about seven essential, imperative, crucial, necessary, indispensable tips for filmmaking beginners. If you're just starting out, and I, I apologize if you're not doing these and you don't consider yourself a beginner. Tip number one is to know your camera inside and out. Your shutter speed, ISO, f-stop, white balance, frame rates, anything and everything in your camera you should know. And this is because then you can focus on the more important things like framing, lighting, the story, all those things that are way more crucial than just, just the settings. So know your camera inside and out. Keep practicing those settings till you can do them in your sleep, no problems. You never have to think about what settings am I changing and why. And then number two would be to use a stabilizer. In this case, I'm just using like a Gorilla Joby monopod and because I'm on the one wheel, it should be fairly smooth. Uh, but use a stabilizer. Nobody likes shaky footage and, and saying you're shooting handheld, don't use that as a cop out. And then number three, learn how to edit. Even if you don't wanna be an editor yourself, learn how to edit because it's super important for when you're filming. That way you know what kind of clips do you need for, to go from one section to the next section? What kind of filler clips, what coverage do you need? If you're not editing in your head while you're shooting, you're gonna miss out on a lot of shots. So make sure to edit so you kind of understand what's going on in the editing process. And speaking of editors, I'll let my uh, future editor take the next two tips here. Thanks. So tip number four, when you're editing videos, trust your own rhythm. Your sense of how the video ought to be put together and ought to flow is really what's gonna make it feel natural and also give it that sense of style that's unique to you. So when I'm in Premiere and I'm editing a video together, I'll take a clip and I will stretch out the end of it so it's, it's longer than I feel like it should be. And then I'll watch it through and as I'm watching, I'm just kind of feeling out the rhythm of it, feeling out the beat of it. And then as soon as I feel it's right, I'll hit space, that's where I want my cut to be and then I'll drag that second clip over and, and use that to make my cut. Okay, tip number five. When I first started editing videos, I would see other creators work that I really respected and I would be like, how do I get there? How do I learn what they're doing? And what am I doing wrong? I would find a video that I liked and I, I would download the video file put it in Premiere, and then watch it back one frame at a time. I think that's how every good video editor got where they are today, by finding other creators they respected and then stealing all their ideas. How was that, is that good? Oh, hey. 
thanks for covering for me. Uh, tip number six, I would say is get a decent mic. Do yourself a favor and get a good mic because bad audio just, it's the worst. People are gonna hate it. People are not gonna like watching your stuff. It's not the coolest thing to invest in, but just do it, it's worth it. Number seven, and lastly, I would say just have fun with it. If you're not having fun while you're filmmaking, you're, you're just not gonna learn as much. So figure out what kind of filmmaking and, and what roles fit you best so that you can actually have a lot of fun with it because that's honestly the best way to learn. That's how I learned everything in the beginning. I just, I just had fun with it. I thought it was just a fun thing to do. I didn't care about getting paid or, or getting recognition or anything. I just liked doing it, so I, I just kept learning. All right, great. I think that's it for uh, the seven tips. Uh, how, how did we do? Did we did we make a good team? Uh, if, if you think so, uh, send some feedback in the comments if you like this collaboration between me and this guy, John, me. And if you think that me and please me should keep collaborating, then uh, give a lot of thumbs up and, and a lot of encouraging words. And even if you don't, still be encouraging. Be nice, guys. Um, yeah, I guess I guess that's it for this video. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Um, hit the like button, click it, tap it if you're on a phone. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you're subscribed to the channel already. If you're not, then you probably could be. I don't know. You don't have to be. It's fine. I don't take offense. Uh, all right. I, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. And um, you guys will probably soon find out if uh, if me and uh, are, are going to be working together or not. Bye. Downstairs guy must hate us.